Hey guys and girls, it's Mark. I'm True Seeker over at the Mars Anomaly Research Channel. And uh, I want to thank everybody for, uh, you know, all your support. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, I'm a small little channel. You're trying to, uh, you know, trying to dig down to the truth. You know, it's not, uh, it's not always easy, you know, uh, to get something like this out and to get this information to the people. Um, it really depends on all you guys sharing and, you know, doing what you do. You know, you tell somebody, and, uh, you know, like I said a thousand times, uh, you know, a channel like this is, you don't, you don't do this to make money on this type of channel. I mean, you make a couple dollars to pay for your software a month and stuff like that, but, uh, you know, you're not quitting your job. You're doing uh, the guys and girls that have these channels. We do them because we love it. You know, if uh, you know people that are in this for the money, you know, they put out vlogs and uh, you know video game, uh, you know stuff like that. You know, videos. So the people that uh, you know, if you go down to uh, you know, you know the, some of the channels that I support. Um, you know, you'll see, uh, uh, this guy's got to come off there. I don't know why that's still on there, but, uh, that I got to get off. Um, but you'll see some of these channels, like What's Up in the Sky, Mars Anomalies, Mars Unmasked, Olympus Sky, Dabu 77. I mean, some of his new stuff is pretty cool, and, uh, BP, you know, some of his stuff is pretty cool. And Amazon KC is another researcher. I mean, she's got some great videos, you know. These are the people that I really support. Um, you know, so it's important. It's important that, uh, you know, we try to get this word out. We cross-promote. We all share and, you know, mention each other. I, I believe that's important. You know, if you really are, uh, you know, out there to get the truth out, you know, you, you want people to go to other people's channels and so on. You want, if, if your heart's really in this, that's what you want. You want people to go to other people's channels. You want to cross promote. You want uh, you want this thing to grow to where, you know, one day you're going to turn on your local news and you're going to see you know YouTubers, you know, discovered, and uh, you know it's going to be undeniable. All right, enough with that. Um, you got a chance to take a look at the last video I did. I I put together uh, my my top ten anomalies, not uh, from other you know. I don't like taking other people's work, and uh, I don't even like asking other people, you know, you know, permission, you know. Um, but this is just my stuff, and uh, I put a top ten together. And to me, I believe it's, you know, you if you watch that, there's got to be at least one anomaly in there that you're like, oh my god, this is incredible. All right, uh, enough. We're going to go to Soul 950. There's a pretty, uh, I think it's cool. I, I'm sure you're going to think uh, the same. And, uh, I mean, this is just, a, to me, I believe it's just some type of grave marker, monument grave marker. And uh, why NASA left it in there? Uh, like I say, either somebody's leaking this stuff out or it's a mistake. There's no other way around it. Um, about 40... 40% of this picture is real. Uh, you're probably looking at about the other, you know, 55% of it is fudged in some way. But uh, there's about 45, 50% of this picture that's there. I mean, it's real. So let me show you. This is the image uh, in, uh, you know, NASA's website. 950... Uh, it's supposed to be raw. We all know that's bullshit. Because raw images are not going to have compression marks in them. And uh, there's just no way around that. You know, um, An uncompressed TIFF file is basically a raw image. These are JPEGs. And uh, the resolution is knocked down to some stupid level. Uh, basically what they're doing is they're taking these pictures on a high, I believe, an ultra high resolution camera with a hell of a lens from a distance um, and sometimes they fudge in tracks to make it look like they're closer but uh, and then they're just breaking these up into little photos so when you go to zoom in you're not going to get much detail unless you really know what you're doing 
you know how to resample an image and uh, enlarge it and stuff like that. But uh, you know, the average person is going to come by, look at this picture, and go, "Wow, that's cool." <laughs> All right, I'm going to have my coffee and I'm going to work. But uh, not me, and not a handful of uh, researchers. We're not having any none of that, any of that bullshit. We, uh, you know, as researchers, we always dig. So let's see what I found this time. Okay, here we are in Photoshop. There's a couple cool things in this image. There's a lot of artifacts in these souls. Uh, all right. Basically, you're going to be going to the back, upper corner. I'm sure you could see it already. I don't know what kind of rock naturally grows like that, but of course, if you've watched uh, under a little 300, I think I had about a little under 300 videos, if you watched my videos, I mean, we know that there's uh, some type of life or primitive life was on Mars. I mean, look at pieces like this. I mean, you can see where it was like either painted in. And NASA just comes in and puts this funky little layer over here stuff. But this is the one. This is what I really wanted to show you. Look at that. Now that's a pyramid shape. You could see that there was some type of animal's face carved onto the front of this. There's one of the eyes, the other eye. You could see the nose area. You come down to the mouth area. Um, there's all types of carvings in it. You could see either NASA or the computer started to fudge it up here. And, uh, let me switch into here for a second. Now this is in the yellow plate. Um, when I make videos, uh, most of the time I don't show, but I mean most people don't care. But uh, I always check back and forth with these plates. And I could see where they came in. There's parts of it that they really wanted to fudge. Somehow either this was leaked out or it's a mistake. Because stuff like this will usually have this in front of it. See how they put these heavy, heavy blur boxes in front of it. And then they paint over it. Uh, you can see this object is really here. It's a real object. It's some type of stone. See what I mean about the, see what they're editing and manipulation. When you come into the yellow plate, what you'll do is you come up to view. What you'll do is you go up to view, proof, setup, and then you can pick yellow plate. And then you can easily see where they're fudging the image. Uh, that's how I get my number of 35 to maybe 40% of this image is real. really see it really makes stuff like this pop out see the eyes the mouth the ear see how a car they carved this stuff into these stones you see the little statue next to it I mean rocks just do not grow like this I mean one maybe you know if this was in one out of maybe a hundred pictures hey you'd say hey that's you know chances but uh, in every image it looks like there's grave markers, statues, or, you know, statues of animals. I mean, you just name it. So, uh, and that's in those. I mean, it, this is, you know, most people know, too. They just are having a hard time accepting all this. I mean, I believe NASA and our government are slowly desensitizing people. Because they know they can't keep this under wraps much longer, so... 
And if this stuff breaks, it's going to open up a whole new bag of worms. I mean, I believe that this stuff has to do with aliens and, you know, craft that have been seen. Um, you know, back to the Battle of uh, L.A., you know, I believe, I think that was in 47 or something, uh, in the 40s, um, you know, and then you have Roswell. Uh, you know, I believe that we were, you know, that they felt that it was time that they contacted us. You know, and I believe there's just other species. I mean, they may look a little different than us, but, uh, you know, it's not, you know, I believe we were all created by one. So for me, it's not a big jump that there's life elsewhere. I mean, I believe our whole solar system is just teeming with life. So it's not a, and I, I think people are starting to realize it now with these pictures of Pluto and, Um, all right, and there was one other piece I wanted to show you. There's a lot in this, but I'm not going to go on all day. So let me show you the other piece, and then I'm out of here. Okay, here's a perfect example of what a rock isn't, okay? This is what NASA wants you to believe a rock is. I mean, look at this stuff. This stuff is really here. See how they just come in and just blurred this right out? Yeah, they came in, just blurred out huge sections of this, and then they just fill it in. Look at these. Look at this stuff. One, two, three, four, five. Five dots in that pattern. Nature's pretty creative. Now right, let's take a look and see how. See? See how manipulated this is? So now you get a sense of what I'm saying that we're seeing maybe when I pick an anomaly out, uh, there's usually about 35 to 40 percent of the picture that I'm left to work with. So, and in those little areas, either they're making mistakes or they're leaving this stuff here on purpose for us. pretty cool. Nature's got a hell of a sense of humor. These are some nasty looking faces. right out all right guys and girls I'll give you the link down in the description to this there's you know stuff everywhere in this image I encourage you to take some time you know when you see stuff like this it is block right across just for F's sake, look at this right across here. I always try to show you guys some pretty cool stuff. I mean, look at this. You know, you're supposed to believe that this is a friggin' shadow. I mean,. If somebody from NASA was in front of me, I'd whack him in the head with a friggin' baseball bat. I mean, this is just an insult. I mean, and the sad thing is, is people download this picture and take a quick look, and they believe that that's a shadow. I mean, and then they come in and they just fill in, 
you know, and it's just, it's just mind-boggling that there's not hundreds of millions of people standing up screaming. I just don't understand it. This is the biggest secret of mankind. Are we alone? Of course we're not alone. We are not alone. We are just not alone. I'll see you in the next one.